In tonight with that partially blind man who was tasered by police officers in his own driveway. Officers who he claims were there without cause. Yeah, that man and his wife have now filed a lawsuit against the Redford Township Police Department. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson on the story tonight. Jonathan. Carl Leatherberry is blind in one eye and has trouble seeing out the other. He and his wife are suing the Redford Township Police Department over what they say happened on the night of August 10th of last year. As a human being, it, it, it made me feel... It made me feel stereotyped. The couple was having a get together at their home when police were reportedly called about loud music, something Leatherberry disputed. After the gathering dispersed, Leatherberry claims officers taunted him, saying they'd be back. He claims the officers who responded lingered in some nearby bushes. A short time later, he says he went outside to lock his car. When he walked back towards the house, he's rushed by officers, one of whom tased him in the back. It all captured on home surveillance. It was so much shock going through my body. Mm -hmm. That I didn't, you know, I was disoriented. And I falls back into the house, and then all four officers rushes on top of me. Remember, Leatherberry is blind in one eye and says he didn't even see the officers coming, nor did they announce themselves. There's no audio on the video to verify that. However, it's clear from the video Leatherberry isn't running nor facing the officers with violent intent. I thought that I was being robbed, actually. So I screamed out real loud for my wife. His wife, Lakeisha, was skeptical her husband was innocent until she saw the video for herself. I'm thankful today that my husband is still here with me alive today because they had their guns drawn. His attorney says officers had no cause to attack and their subsequent arrest of Leatherberry on claims he was drunk and resisting arrest were unfounded. They didn't say put your hands up, nothing of that nature. They had no reason, first of all, to be back on his property but least of all to employ the type of force that you saw. The incident has left the couple fearful of the people sworn to protect them. I'm nervous. I don't look at police officers the same anymore. Now, I spoke with the Redford Township Police tonight. Due to the suit, they're not commenting, nor would they release the police report or any other documents to support their case, guys. But we know you'll stay on the story. Sure will. Jonathan, thank you. You bet. Thanks a lot, Jonathan.